30. Dead and ready to go on offense, leading the charge out of LSU. Joe Burrow, the number one overall pick back in April. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but I see her two free. It's a pickup of the numbers for Mixon last week. 14 carries, 91 yards, and a touchdown. I thought it was a lot of fun for us to be able to sit in on their field session with the offensive line. We saw how they blocked it up last week. It's pretty good success. And we see what their game plan is for this week. They expect their defensive front to be someone they can move. 16, 16 yards, a first down. Bingo. First down, here's Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. Burrow's, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A gain of 15. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. That catch good for only. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Ball carrier. They needed a yard. They got it. First down. A gain of a yard. And a Bengal first down. Mixon with a first down carry. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And now they will throw it with Burrow on the screen. Bernard. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. Bunny Bernard. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. First down. First and goal from just inside the five. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. It would be all that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you hit them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's where the knockout occurs. It becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now we get a look at Jalen Hurts, the surprise second round pick back in April as he gets set to operate this Philadelphia Eagles offense. We're not even a quarter way into the season. He's already off to a pretty nice start. NFC Offensive Player of the Week in last week's game. Yeah, week two, he was electric. Let's see what week three has in store. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Here's a second and two now for the 33. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That's good for an eagle. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for him? It's, I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Offense. Yeah. Do that, man. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. From the gun, it's Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Hurts. 
three yards the game there, second down. Charles, you know, for this offense, we take a look at the draft class here. They were looking for a playmaker, and they found one on the outside. And the way teams are throwing the football nowadays, you can't afford to skip at the wide receiver position. I know that the slot guy is getting more attention now, but that guy in the perimeter, he makes you go. Yeah, he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. First reception for him, and remember, he leads the NFL in that category here this first month. Also has a first down. The 30 behind a little bit, find open receivers and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with these completed passes. The ball carrier. The numbers for Sanders last week, he was creeping up toward 200 yards, thought he was going to get there, didn't quite make it, but also two rushing touchdowns. And even if he only got about half those numbers this week, his team would take it in a heartbeat, wouldn't they? Because last week, he was spectacular. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. That's a gain of five. Brings rolling from the gun. It's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So, yeah, so it's only three, but at least you're going to have two after you get the touchdown. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, To return it, Darius Phillips. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At their own 32. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if you guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and ten at about the 32. Start out here with a jet sweep. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Brought down by Nate Gary. Gary on the tackle. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All of his guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's second and ten. Florida Gator chopping his way to the quarterback. 
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Polluted the pressure right. And he's going to go down again. Chino Atkins got home that time. There's Chino Atkins applying the pressure again from his defensive tackle position. I know a lot of people talked about the down year he had in 2019, about four and a half sacks. League. He hasn't missed the Pro Bowl in his last six seasons. Remember, he gets doubled and tripled on almost every snap. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense is going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati set to take over once again. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. Watch that leverage on this drive. His throw incomplete. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So, second. so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Green's got it over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Jay Green. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Bengals. Second and three. 
A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. At second down, here's Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And it's third and short. Brings up a good chance. This is four-down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. That's caught by Jackson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. The 35 This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Press it a little bit. This might be the case. And he 
what they're looking for now is a little more consistency. They moved the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, there's something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head steam going. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Now Burrow on first down on the slam complete to Green. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A.J. Green, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. For the point after. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it just happens so quickly. And really, what gets set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They had fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and they hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him off because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. The board to Sean Jackson. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. Falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. The pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. It does look like another three and out here, and at some point, you got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. We're not even at halftime. 31 yards on the punt there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Joe Mixon and the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, but because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, trying to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And credit the tackle to Derek Barnett. No second quarter action with 159 remaining. The 34 yard. A reminder once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. 16 yards of first down. And so from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Being chased out left. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. Three yard line. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays. Now Burrow loses the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football. Credit to the defense, they forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know who you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact, the turnover ensues. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try.
drive pass downfield that fell incomplete. But third down, so back-to-back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Sanders here as they run out of the gun, and they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Cameron Johnston now, standing just outside his own goal line. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. Take over first and 10. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass, but here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. You can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Again, it's Burrow on second and ten. Trying to lay one up deep. And that will be incomplete. Burrow's trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They have the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Yards to go. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Come on now. The Bengals are going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Flushed out right. He'll run it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. He was 23 yards on the tuck and run. It's a game we're talking about, a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Now it's Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Late to number 85, T. Higgins. As the first half is winding down, and the Bengals are able to grow their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life Randy and he's doing it. Is good. And he puts it through. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a Bengals score. Randy so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles take over first and 10. At their own the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will they be angry? Will they be clinical? Or will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Austin Scott on the return. The Eagles take over first and 10. At their own 24 yards, and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. Four snap to his left. Get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Shotgun snap and then the gift to Sanders. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Carrier. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that game. battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage to help their spot. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Josh Bynes coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. 
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Open man, it's Lager. He's got it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. On first down, Sanders. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. First one football I watched, the more I wanted to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. First job. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. The pickup brings up second and two at the 11-yard line. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game Third down. that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Good. The game of five that time gives them the conversion and makes it first and goal. At the seven. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Clement, and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard. You don't get the score. Perfect like combination. Urgency. Say, get the last to get it done. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, Phillips. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Bengals take over first and ten at their own. The Bengals drive about to get going. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm is the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. When you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little. He's got a man complete. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 32 on the play. First down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On first down, Nixon. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Joe Nixon, the ball carrier. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. Pass complete to T. Higgins. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. First down. Oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. It's a jet sweep. They get it to green. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Ball carrier. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Now for O to throw on second down. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. Burrow, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. It's a first down on a gain of 10. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's another ten yards on that one and another first down. It's second options galore here. Second and a few inches. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Out of the end zone. It's third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. 
Throwing again, it's Burrow. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Rodney McLeod picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the Scrambler or the Dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. A 33-yard attempt. Bullock's kick is good. He is good. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. 31. Eagles 16. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And as the numbers show, he really wasn't in the mix at the beginning, but they've got him in the rotation now, and it's proved a good move. And that's what happens when you're a good player. There's a lot more attention drawn to you, and it's obvious. Deshaun Jackson off to the races. 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles get a score closer. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route and worked out pretty well. It's like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that? A lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look and they make their decision off of that. Keep up to the break. That was impossible. Return Phillips. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. At their own 33 yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum is sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. Burrow's pass. Complete to C.J. Uzama. Fumble on the play. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You, know, you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free. They couldn't take it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From midfield now, Burrow throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Third down here. And the pressure drops off as they look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game. The way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here's Kevin Huber now. As he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Able to power through. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. Over first down. Let's shift now and discuss Deshaun Jackson. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And now the rookie's free. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. And he's been busily getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Better 
shade now for third. He was brought down by Trey Wayans. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't come up with a pick. Hurts nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will cut the lead down to 13. It's hard to put your finger on whether that's chalk or something. Or something maybe the offense is embarrassed by. Now, six field goals he's made in this game. He has been about quite a bit so far, but it's very comforting to know that you have a kicker that's got your back. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 32 yard line. Joe Burrow trots out again with the rest of his offense, and he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for them, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. And Duke Riley will get credit for the tackle. Fever. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. And seven yards to go. The Bengals on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That third down conversion, good for 23. First down, Cincinnati. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Burrow with a throw caught by Green and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Bengals. They'll run on first down. Nixon. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Carrier. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Again, it's Mixon. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 13-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. From the 13, now they work on first and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine. From the four, this is second down and one. At the four-yard line. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Throw the Bengals on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Check it out. that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on him. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the hall. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. Randy, so they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. Mission accomplished, pull this dark close. Well, that holding 
Cole set him up with not great field position. Not at all. When you tack on the penalty, but that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it. Couldn't get it. And it's second down. Jesse Bates on the cover. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. And it's third down. He was covered. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. He's got a first down past the third. And he connects with Ertz. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. That's good. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. But first down, Hurts. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. That's another. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. First. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterback, and he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. D.J. Reader in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down at 17. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Down defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Partner, and that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Deshaun Jackson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Shows some of his improv skills there, getting flushed out of the pocket, but still able to make the throw for the score. So that means he's not a method actor to set up. No. Because with the improv means break character when you need to. And in the NFL, when you have those guys chasing you, sometimes you have to break character in a big way. But I love the fact that he stayed downfield, kept his eyes up, and made the play. How many rookies do that well? Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, Phillips. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. And just a one-possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. Field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. A gain of 20. First down, Cincinnati. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Boy, they get 17 more on that one and another first down. First back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Oh, they'll try a jet sweep here with Higgins. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Do you at all things considered? They have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against the Eagles. 17-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. 
So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he stopped immediately there. No, no gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Right past the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, that's a good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up the key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them and get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. I don't like that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll give it to Mixon, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. On second and goal, one man stands in the backfield, and that's Mixon. They'll give it to him up the middle. Yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Mixon try to punch it in. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to solve this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in about a time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. They're on 19 yard line. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. William Jackson with a pick. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 